If you or your organization are heavily invested in Microsoft's ecosystem, then you might want to hold off on purchasing the new iPhone 8 or updating to the latest version of iOS. The latest version of Apple's mobile OS, iOS 11 was made available for download this week and will ship with the company's recently announced iPhones. However, it seems to have been a bit rushed and was not thoroughly tested with Microsoft Office or Exchange, and a number of users have had difficulties accessing Office 365 as well as their Outlook.com and Exchange inboxes. This week Apple admitted that a bug in the operating system leaves users locked out of Microsoft's software and receiving a message which reads cannot send mail. The message was rejected by the server. When trying to send emails from iOS 11, Apparently Apple is currently working hard with Microsoft to resolve these issues, but the inconvenience for users that rely heavily on Microsoft's software and mail may be a big enough hassle that it might just be best to sit this update out until all the kinks are worked out. Luckily though, the update is not a mandatory one for current iPhone and iPad users, but if you have already pre-ordered your new iPhone 8 then be prepared to try and get by using Microsoft's less feature-rich Outlook app until the issue is resolved. Image Credit PIO3 Shutterstock